Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw this part. This is the uh, pipe two valves, though. Okay, so if you look at the part here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle and pretty much draw parallel lines to uh, to uh, communicate what I want. Uh, if you look at the largest diameter here, it's six inches, and the overall length is two point one two five, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my drawing. I'm gonna design tab. I'm gonna go to rectangle. I'm gonna click on the origin of my part. I'm gonna come up. The length of my part is gonna be two and eight, and the largest diameter is six inches. So I'm gonna draw the radius of that, which is three inches. So I have something that looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my offset curve to draw parallel lines, right? So I'm going to click on this vertical line. Now, if you if you look at the print, the shoulder right here is 0.875 wide, right? So I'm going to do. And, oh yeah, and the nose of this part is four and a quarter. So I got eight. 0.875 and four and a quarter for for the diameter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, draw a parallel line using my offset curve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reference off this vertical line. So I got 0.875 and my, my diameter of the nose is four and a quarter. So I'm gonna draw the radius value. So four and a quarter divided by two. And I have something that looks like this. So now I'm going to use trim away and trim up the geometry I don't need. So that's something that looks like this. Now if we look at the print, we have a o OD groove right here. It's a quarter inch wide. It's 0.875 from the face. And if we measure the if we measure the diameter here, actually let's see. It, it sits in 0.25 deep, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my offset curve tool and I'm going to reference off his face 0.875 It's a quarter inch wide so I'm going to reference back quarter inch and it's a quarter inch deep Okay, so let's go ahead, let's use the trim I'm going to trim this up, this, this geometry, and all of this. So I have something that looks like this so far. You look at the print. This is pretty much my profile minus the chamfers. So, so far I have a cross section drawn up, right? So let's go ahead and revolve this. We'll put the chamfers on afterwards. So I'm going to use my pull tool. I'm going to hover my cursor over my profile and click on the surface. Let's go to our revolve option. And I'm going to click on the center uh, of, the, um, of the origin. Let's click on that because we're going to revolve around that center line. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. So I have something that looks like this. Alright, let's go ahead and put the chamfers on. So I'm still in pull mode. Um, I'm going to click on this edge and I have the option between round and chamfer. So I'm going to click chamfer and it needs to be a 0.125 chamfer so I'm going to go 0.125 that's well, not what it takes, let's try it again Point one two five. I'm going to hit enter. And on the shoulder, I have a 50 thousandths chamfer on each side. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to hold control. Click the other edge. I'm holding control to select more than one um, entity at a time. I have it on chamfer. And I'm going to type in 50 thousandths and hit enter. So I have something that looks like this, right? If you look at the print, pretty much have everything. I just need the bolt circle. Oops. 
All right, so let's draw the bullet circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select. I'm going to select this surface, uh, the wall to shoulder, because this is what I'm going to draw on. And I'm going to go to circle. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the top view off of that plane. And I'm going to come down here to my options and go to Cartesian dimensions. I'm going to reference off the center point. I'm going to come up. Um, if you were to look at the drawing, we have a five and a quarter bolt circle with uh, should be twelve holes equally spaced. So I'm gonna do because it's a five point two five bolt circle. I'm refer referencing from the center, so right here I'm gonna go five point two five divided by two because I want the radius value. Let's make sure this is on zero. And I'm going to hit enter. So my diameter is going to be 0.375. So I have something like this. I drew one hole up, right? I'm going to tilt my model to to the right a little bit, right? And go to pull. Let's click on this surface and pull out. So I have something that looks like this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go back to select. Let's, uh, we're going to use our circular pattern, but let's select this um, let's select this hole first, right? Notice how it highlights up. You want to select the inside, not the, not the edge or center line. And let's go ahead and go to circular pattern. Okay, so now we, we have the hole selected. We're in the circular pattern. It needs to know what to center about. So I'm going to click on this this x-axis right here and I'm going to go to my count I want 12 holes right so I'm going to type in 12 and let's hit enter if you notice it gives me a preview 12 holes and let's click the green check mark and there we have it let's look at the print and it looks like everything for now uh, we're going to come back and put a uh, we're going to come back and put a thread on the OD but we'll save that for another video. Uh, remember, you can um, you can get the print for this if you want to practice at 3distributed.com on the um, CAD CAM video page. But anyways, thanks.